Many people enjoy the solitude and primitive experience of camping away from developed campgrounds and other campers. This type of camping is legal in the United States in most national forest and BLM land. It's officially called dispersed camping, although the terms stealth camping and wild camping are sometimes used. Dispersed camping means that there are no toilets, no picnic tables, no trash cans, no treated water, and no fire grates. Typically, dispersed camping is not allowed anywhere in the vicinity of developed recreation areas. This video will describe the extra responsibilities and skills required for dispersed camping compared to traditional campground camping. I will also review the gear that I typically use. Today I am at the Little Lake Creek Wilderness Area and I plan to hike the trails and camp overnight. This is a good place to set up camp. I'm going to go about 200 feet off trail up that way. Uh, the creek's down this direction. I uh, want to choose a place where there's very little vegetation and I'm going to be careful not to make a new trail myself. This is a good place to set up camp it's several hundred feet from the trail. There's a lot of leaf litter on the ground, very little vegetation. The trees around here are all alive with no dead limbs, so there shouldn't be anything falling on me at night. The tent's quick to set up. It uh, is a little bit shiny for being a camouflage tent, but this can easily be corrected with a little bit of camouflage paint to take the gloss down. Or I've also been told by people who've had this several years that it gets a little less glossy over time. I've replaced the uh, tent poles with trekking poles. That way I have a dual purpose item. Uh, the tent also comes with these little strings to, to tie it up. They're not really quite sturdy enough for me, and so I, I think I'll replace those, those with paracord in the future. Also, the pegs that it comes with are pretty minuscule right down here, uh, and I'd replace those with heavier ones. Other than that, the tent looks pretty good to me. I look forward to sleeping in it tonight. The tent's quite roomy, large enough for two people or a one person if you have all your gear inside. Uh, I uh, typically put a ground cloth down below the tent and then on the inside I put several plastic bags. This is a secondary ground cloth. Also uh, the bags can be used uh, to keep your pack dry as an example if it starts to rain. 
I usually carry a Thermarest self-inflating pad. Uh, I can either let it self-inflate or if I'm in a hurry I can puff a few a little bit of air into it to blow it up. I'm taking my um, Eureka uh, uh, sleeping bag. Uh, this one goes down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, 9 degrees Celsius. Easily uh, low enough temperatures for this part of Texas. It never gets that co this cold here. I'm going down to the creek to get some water. Want to come along? Do you see the tent? It's pretty well camouflaged. I need to mark where I am so that I can find it on my return. I'm at the main trail now. I need to mark this turn off so I'll know where my tent's located. I'm going to take these sticks that are right here. There's one. There's another. Now I have an arrow from the main trail that I'll be able to use to know that my camp is back there. Okay, I want to find a place in the creek where the water's clear enough. It's pretty clear. The water's moving even though it's moving slowly. I'm using a Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system. This is a gift from Bob 808 Knight. Thank you, Bob. So you just put that in the water, let the bag fill up. Let's see, I've got to get it down a little further. Water sure is good. Thank you, Bob. I made it. Home sweet home. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to do that over there. I don't want to do it too close to my tent because I don't want to attract attention to it. While the fire is getting started, I want to open a gift I received in the mail yesterday. This is from Alan. Uh, he has a great channel. Check out Faro. He's a great channel. I, I really love his channel. And he says, although I, you didn't win a place in my drawing, I want to thank you for watching my videos and your support. And in here, he has a really neat little Leatherman tool. I'll carry this in, in my everyday carry. Also, he has some acorns, and this is acorn meal that you can fry it in a pan, and then when after it turns brown, add water and make a, a, a coffee substitute out of it. This is something that the Native Americans used to drink, and it also was commonly used during, in the South during the American Civil War. So I'm going to make coffee with that. Okay, the meal is, is dark brown now. So I'm going to add some water. And we're going to ha soon have acorn coffee. The acorn coffee is ready to taste. Smells good. Looks good. It has a gentle flavor to it. I like it better than regular coffee. And the tidbits of acorns add a meaty flavor to it. It's really good. Thank you, Alan. See the water starting to boil. So I'm going to pour in the chicken and rice. There's no exact science to it. I just mix it up a little bit. And A little bit more in than that. Oops. 
Ah, those nasty. <laughs> you don't like those, do you? I don't like those. Those are terrible. Okay. The rice and chicken sure look good. Mmm. It's beginning to get dark and I'm hearing a few animals. I heard my first owl a couple minutes ago. So I'm going to walk around for a few minutes and then come back to camp after it's dark and I'll use my red light to come back. But I, I want to show you a couple things that I think are really interesting. Let's just walk a little, a little down over here. I discovered a ravine that's not very far from my tent site. And this is such a, this is a really interesting ravine down here. Then there's some holes in it. And you know, if it were like last week when I camped with, with just my rain poncho on the ground, I'd be camping over here, right where I'm pointing the light. There's a little hole down there. And so I bet there's an animal living in that. And then under these ferns, there are also some holes. But this is interesting in this ravine. It's always fun to explore places like this and see who's there. Isn't this interesting? The way things look so different. The water in the creek. Some things you can see better at night and other things you don't see at all as well at night. There it is, right there. Well, I'm going to crawl into bed and listen to the little critters from inside the tent. Let's see, where's the zipper? Okay, I made it inside. Now this is a roomy tent. Got my sleeping bag all zipped up. I'm all ready to go to sleep. See you guys in the morning. Sweet dreams. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. It's about 5.40. Guess what I'm hearing? Rain on the tent. This is cool. It will test the tent in the rain. I, you know, I've been told the tent's really good in the rain. There's no problem with it. But this is a first-hand experience. That's so cool. The rain's almost stopped. Just a brief shower, I guess. The sun's beginning to come up. I've uh, heard some crows and cardinals it's uh it's getting really nice well let's let's see outside oh my oh there i love the sound of birds in the morning it's so peaceful and with a few drops of water hitting the tent it's even more relaxing the rain has stopped, so I've decided to hike the trails. I'm going to go down next to the creek and then walk along the creek. When you're walking back and forth from your campsite to the main trail, be careful not to create new trails. So take a different path each time you go back to the main trail. And be careful only to walk on durable surfaces, that is, no, no living plants. 
just um, a bare ground or leaves or rocks. I'm on the main trail now. It's about a mile and a half to the section of the creek that I'm headed. Uh, I want to see how much water is in this part of the creek, particularly after the brief rainfall that we had last night. I'm just going to sit here for a while, watch it, listen to the sounds, and relax. Uh-oh. Is that a snake? Nope, it's a root. You always have to watch out for snakes, particularly if it's warm. The snakes are out. It's time to head home, so I'm going to clean up the campsite, pick up all my trash, leave no trace, and if I find anybody else's trash, I'll pick it up too. Until next time, peace.